Welcome to TF2S Fashion Contest. Our next contestant up ahead will show off his fashionable hats. Let's hope that the little guy is able to impress the judges and take the win home. TF2 has a lot of cosmetics that you may have forgotten about. Be it some small metal, ugly hat or cosmetic that you have never seen before. This is a part 2 to a video I made last year, so if you're interested, you can check it out with a link in the comments. Let's start off with a cosmetic that I originally wanted to include, but didn't have space. Clockworks Helm is a promotional cosmetic for engineer, based on this character with the same name that was given to participants of Dota 2 Championship in 2011. Yeah, it was only given to people who don't even play TF2, instead they play League of Legends but it's done by the same people who made Half-Life, you know, an actual good game. Totally a waste of a cool hat, would love it for it made to be public. Sucker's Luck is an alien that is attached to Heavy's head. I was trying to remember what cosmetics I researched last time and by accident landed on this one. It looks more like the rejected version of that monster ring character that I can spell as it's too hard and I wish I never learned it existed. Kapanuman is a simple cap made for all classes as a promotional item for Deus Ex Human Revolution. People who bought the game on Steam were awarded a genuine version of the hat and it's just a cap. It could have been made in Manko's shiny sweatshop or be made by Saxton himself. Who knows, or more like who cares that it's just a cap. Yanisar Ketze is another promotional cosmetic, this time for Spy, which you could get as a genuine version if you pre-purchase Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword. This one isn't too bad, I am not personally a big fan of Egyptian themes, as it's associated with sand. Lots of sand. Hephaistos Handcraft is a scout cosmetic that was added back in 2018. It's a Corinthian helmet with a paintable crest, which I have to say is pretty cool, although this is one of those hats that don't fit the art style at all. Sniper Sniping Glass is another Dota 2 item from the championship that's based on Cardo Sharpie. It's another item that you can obtain as it was again rewarded to people who participated. Like why spend so much time modeling and texturing something only to basically say nah uh you will never see this item in game and only remember it exists when you play Gmod and mess around with the hats. I seem to by accident write something about our next cosmetic in a small font as I need a magnifying glass to read this. But to be fair, you also need that to see this cosmetic named Coffre Corner as it's so goddamn small and probably is the reason why no one remembers it aside from Southsmith's hat stereotypes. One person asked about a hat named Spyro Salad, an all class hat, and while I do disagree with it being forgotten because it's a free hat, I have to agree that I rarely see anyone using it as it requires you to play a different game to obtain it. Does anyone remember Robo Cosmetics? And does anyone remember Halogen Headlamp which replaces Otola's mirror as a robotic version? Me neither, so let's move on. The moment has lots of memorable cosmetics, so it was kind of tough to find any hat that would be forgettable, but I did find fun, Bolkan, and I don't really wonder why it's forgettable as it's pretty ugly. It's again a promotional item based on one of the enemies from Kingdom of Amalur Reckoning. I'm excited to see a pattern with these promotional items. Furious Fugami Gasa is a Japanese soldier hat, which I'm surprised to see no one is using as I talk weeps will squeal with happiness as there's another anime hat to use. But I guess all the weeps plays by and I go possibly showcase their funny in the kunai name something like Konata's <coughs> or something like that, so they don't care for it. Little Buddy is a sailor cap for Pyro and he's a pretty cute hat. Which makes it even more terrifying when people who play Pyro are... pretty insane. Pessor in Chester is a multi-class hat for Scout, so they're Pyro and Heavy. This hat will fit perfectly towards those people who use the black box guns combo, as they wish to be funny as their joke of a playstyle. And for a final cosmetic, I want to bring up Mr. Bubbles, an engineer pocket cosmetic based on the Big Daddy from Bioshock. An item that you rarely if ever see as it's not really a cute teddy bear or cute pet cosmetic. And really, why would you use it when you go get a beatable seal pet that reminds you of the lovely seals of Celebuen? Or a teddy bear which will always remind you of the good old times before bots and cheaters became as common as my lack of feel to live. Anyway, thank you for making this far, it's really interesting to see some cosmetics that I and uh, probably most people have forgotten. Like that heavy one was a big surprise that I have never seen it and kind of hope to never see anything like that again. Anyway, do leave a like if you want to see part 3 and have a nice day. Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I saw you didn't win the contest. That shit was hilarious. You should consider a career as a clown. <laughs>